when CATL pulled the curtain back on its Naxra sodium ion battery unveiled alongside the free void dual power system and Shenjing ultra fast charging tech during Supertech Day on April 21, 2025, the industry was caught off guard. Imagine a battery that shrugs off freezing winters and blazing desert heat and still refuses to catch fire. A battery tough enough to survive nail penetration, drilling and sawing tests while fully charged, with its voltage rock solid the entire time. CATL confirmed that Naxra has officially entered mass production, with initial output expected as soon as June 2025 and full-scale manufacturing planned for the end of the year. Unlike traditional lithium-based batteries tied to scarce resources and volatile markets, Naxra pivots towards sodium, which is cheap, abundant and geopolitically stable. The result? Lower costs, steadier prices and a serious challenge to lithium's dominance. In a recent YouTube showcase, CATL revealed that Naxra passenger EV cells can deliver 175 watt-hours per kilogram, survive more than 10, zero cycles and operate reliably from 40 degrees Celsius to XI 70 degrees Celsius, all while offering around 500 kilometers of range. Analysts had once projected sodium ion to be a niche market worth only 1.5 billion by 2030. But with EV sales already topping 500 billion in 2024, and set to double by the decade's end, even a modest 5-10% slice of that market would mean tens of billions in revenue. If Nexra gains traction, it could ignite that shift. And what about safety? CATL went all out to prove it. Their engineers crushed the battery from every angle in a brutal multi-axis stress test. Using a semi-cylindrical plate with a 75mm radius, they pressed down along the x-axis until it was deformed by 30%, then squeezed the z-axis to 15%, and finally the y-axis to another 30%. Incredibly, even after being bent, squeezed and battered, the fully charged Naxra cell stayed intact and kept its charge. It's one thing to design a battery that performs well in ideal lab conditions. It's another to make one that can take this kind of abuse and remain safe with no explosion. To ensure it's even safer and reliable, they also ran it through an 8mm temperature resistance needle, through a high-speed drilling test and a sawing test, yet no fire. Temperature extremes? Naxra thrives from 40 degrees Celsius to DA 70 degrees Celsius. In fact, even at 40 degrees Celsius and just 10% charge, it can still deliver 90% of its usable power. It also has 5C superfast charging, adding 520 kilometers in five minutes a game changer. CATL's test shows that Naxra's sodium ion chemistry, combined with their engineering design, offers a level of resilience that could redefine safety expectations in electric vehicles, heavy-duty transport, and grid storage. Sodium mining has been less environmentally destructive than lithium or cobalt mining. Sodium is also an easier and cheaper recycling process that could make sodium ion greener over its life cycle. CATL can even tap into sodium sources in seawater and mineral deposits like soda ash locally and globally. The best part? There would be a massive reduction of carbon footprint compared to lithium-ion EVs. Should the EV market brace for the impact? Definitely. This will disrupt the balance because CATL's 10 zeros i cycles showed that if used daily, the pack could theoretically last 25 zi years, which is far beyond the typical 8-12 year EV lifespan. The crazy part is that the 5C rate being equal to 520 kilometers in 5 minutes isn't just faster than Tesla superchargers, but about eight times quicker than current mainstream EVs. At this rate, it could even completely rewrite winter EV ownership, as most lithium-ion EVs lose 20-40% range in freezing conditions, and CATL's Naxra reportedly keeps 90% usable power at 40 degrees Celsius. If Naxra becomes successful, it means more EVs on the road, as it will address major concerns on charging speed, costs and range. Aside from EVs, Naxra would be great for various energy storage. CATL is also developing Naxra batteries for heavy-duty trucks, which would reduce costs compared to lead-acid batteries. And because Naxra's cycle life and safety make it perfect for stationary energy storage, it could quietly dominate the grid market before EVs, like LFP did in China. Who else is in the game? 
Faridian is pioneering non-aqueous sodium iron tech, and they are backed by Reliance Industries, focusing on mobility and grid storage. There's opportunity for scalability via existing line. Tiamat also has fast charging, high power batteries, five minute charge. Natron Energy, being the first US company to produce sodium ion commercially, hit UL safety standards and is scaling to 24 gigawatt hour per year by 2028 with a 1.4 billion gigafactory. Heiner Battery also released Heising Sodium Ion Solutions, which are approximately 165 watts kg, full charge in 20-25 minutes, and have a longevity of approximately 8-0 cycles. Experts even predicted affordable mass market potential for Heiner Battery. Skeptics believe CATL hasn't shown public footage of deliberate overcharging tests, and they want to know whether Naxra's sodium ion chemistry can truly stay stable under that condition. More questions like whether CATL should demonstrate short-circuiting between cells in a bigger pack are being asked. They've seen that the single cell testing was impressive, but EV batteries operate in a bigger interconnected pack. That means short circuits between cells or in the pack's bus bars can create cascading heat and failure modes. So CATL has more work to do. Demonstrate what happens when a multi-cell pack is shorted. Yes, Naxra is strong for sodium ion, but it's still lower than the best lithium ion or future solid state cells, which could possibly limit ultra long range EVs. Will CATL Naxra be another solid state battery hype? No. CATL Naxra is less likely to be another solid state hype. Solid state batteries promised huge energy density and safety, but didn't push through because they were too expensive, too hard to make, and don't last in the real world just yet. Unlike CATL's Naxra battery that's already in mass production using cheap and abundant sodium, it even works in extreme temperatures, and now it's being slotted right into existing lines. Yes, sodium ion batteries generally weigh more than lithium ion for similar energy density because sodium atoms are heavier and larger. But CATL is countering this by optimizing cell to pack integration, reducing structural components, and using advanced lightweight materials in vehicle battery housing. This could be the future of EVs. What if LFP and solid state batteries double down? Yes. The probability of solid-state battery breakthroughs overtaking sodium ion if they scale faster is high. The clause is if. It's also worth noting that LFP is already cheap and proven, so Naxra needs to clearly beat it in cost or performance to convince automakers to switch. Aside from EVs, Naxra is coming for other sectors. Imagine your drone still flying in intense snow, your laptop lasting 20 years without a battery swap, or your e-bike charging in minutes with no risk of explosion. So even if CATL doesn't eventually make Naxra batteries for EVs, they could reach markets that need safe, cheap, cold-tolerant batteries. What's the way forward? CATL should answer the questions about overcharging tests, let third parties perform tests on multi-pack short circuits, and then mass produce it in the grid sector to scale. But the bigger question is, would you trust a cattle Naxra battery in your 